Sunday morning, pitch dark, raining, and we're walking down into the river. It's muddy, it's cold, it's 34 degrees, wind's gonna blow. Beautiful day for fishing. Hey everybody. Well, I'm fishing on the, uh, on the old schoolhouse hole, right under the power lines. We got in here really early and uh, hope to beat the crowd. Yeah. I haven't fished this hole in a long time, so I'm walking in in the pitch dark. I have no idea if I'm in the right spot. Bobby's up a little bit farther up from me, so we got a couple different spots covered. But the people are starting to come in hot and heavy. We got an hour until we can even fish. But that's the way it is here on the salmon. You know, if you don't get here early, you're not going to uh, you're not going to get a spot. So we'll see what happens when it gets light. Well, been light enough to fish for a while, but too dark to film. I just broke off. I'm going to have to retie. All right, retie. Now I'm going to switch up to a blue egg sack. There we go. Well, I was using a pink egg sack, and I broke off. It's not bad. I've probably made... 30 or 40 casts through here. That was the first time I broke off. I love this braided line because I can feel that slinky just bouncing off the rocks. Nice seam right over there. I'm trying to drift down that far, but I get down into that and something in there keeps grabbing my line. There's enough fish. The wind is blowing. There we go. Oh, oh man. That felt like a bite, but I don't think it was. Whew, my hands are cold. I just had to retie them. Using six pound fluorocarbon for my leader. <laughs> Between my hands being cold and my eyes being old, it's uh, getting harder to tie a line. Uh, oh man, oh, there we go. Getting harder to tie a hook on my line, especially in this low light. Over the years, when we come down here with the drift boats, we've had really good luck. You can see all the drift boats are parked up in the hole up there. There's three of them up there. One's already come down through. Right where Bobby's at, right under those power lines. It's been a pretty good spot. You can see there's a seam that runs right down there. We'd cast from the shore all the way across into that seam and just let it take down through there. Caught some nice fish in there. Well, while I was retying, Bobby had one on, but he lost it, which is <laughs> it's typical for steelhead. We uh, we typically lose probably four for every one that we catch. I heard one other guy yelling up there, so. Maybe the bite's getting started. I just had to retie. My hands are friggin' numb. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes and uh, let my hands warm up and then get back out of it. We both agreed that uh, we'll give it maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending if we get any more bites and we'll be, uh, <laughs> we'll be ready to admit defeat. 
he said where he had that fish on was right on this, where this seam comes down right here, right at the tail end of that seam, which is where I've been casting, starting my cast and letting them go down to that seam over there. But that's a, that's a pretty good seam over there. Hard to do this kind of fishing with, uh, with gloves on. Let's take a break, warm my hands up. This is a good seam. There's, you can see there's a seam that runs right down there. I've been, been trying to cast into that. There's another seam down there. Trying to run my egg sack through that. And I've been trying to do it without gloves because I like to put my finger on that braided line. I can feel it bouncing over every rock and have a better chance of getting a hook set. Man, my hands are freezing. I'm going to have to sacrifice feel my hands warm. They're getting so numb I wouldn't be able to feel anything anyhow. My hands are frozen, Bobby's hands are frozen. We keep having to retie. We're ready to call it a day. But we got over, we gave it our best shot, and uh, we'll probably come back again. Fish will start dropping back down probably in the next week or two. Um, talking with some guys that fish here a lot, and they were saying the sportsman's hole where we were yesterday is one of the best spots when the fish start dropping back. So, uh, you know, who, who knows? Maybe we'll get out here next weekend, maybe the weekend after. Uh, I've got a lot of work commitments coming up, but um, should be able to get after it again. So, thanks for watching. Sorry, it's another fruitless uh, fishing trip for, for bucktails outdoors, but that's the way it goes, man. We give it our, we give it our best shot. Catch you next time. We gave it a go. We put in three and a half hours yesterday or so yeah. in the sportsman's hole. And uh, if today, it was the same weather yesterday as it oh, was today, today we'd, we'd be, be here, here all day. Yeah. It was 50 degrees yesterday. Today, and now it's 31, so it's dropped about four degrees since we got here. Uh, the rain turned to snow, and uh, we got a six hour drive, so we're going to go warm up, maybe get our waders off, get back to Dodge. Thanks for watching. See you next time.